Hello y'all, it is I, Zayab Guy. Nowadays, we've been taking programming for granted. All these new IDEs and tools we have make our life so much easier. What if we traveled back in time? Here we can see the computing machine programmist use his Macintosh portable machine to enter instructions. These instructions are later executed by the machine. Okay, maybe not that old. How does the 2000s sound? So let's travel back to 2001, a few years before I was born and develop software, specifically Flappy Bird. Because why not? We'll have to use a graphics API that works with XP somehow. We're gonna do this in parts. First, we're gonna set up the operating system. Then, we'll create our development environment. Then, we'll write code. And finally, we'll publish it online. Now, originally, I tried using Windows 98 for this. But here are a few reasons why I decided against it. Here are just some of them in a montage. Um, boot from CD-ROM. Okay, PCI bus scan complete. That's nice. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe restarting it will work? Uh, I don't know. It's a fresh install. What do you mean, like, shell DLLs are missing? It's literally your job to install them. Oh, great. Now we don't even see, like, the installer. It's just... Oh? This has all gone horribly. This has just been terrible. I'll try once more, I guess. Uh, okay, give me like 30 minutes. I'll try this one more time. Yep, apparently this is a common issue. And there's a patch for it, thankfully. So, I guess I'll just apply that and see what happens. So, VMware doesn't want IMA files. Can I just maybe, you know... Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on, Windows. I believe in you. You can do it. That's better than nothing. Well, the music is not working. Nor is anything else, really. Oh. Uh. Uh. That does not look correct. Absolutely not. Okay, after all that hassle, I think we're finally ready to use Windows 98. Oh, and that sucks. Ah, uh, my eyes. No. Bad. As the... What? It... Download now. Google was just working, man. Come on. We're downloading Opera. How are we gonna open this? I'm not gonna go mental. I'm not gonna go mental. I'm not gonna go... Are you fucking kidding me? Really? I'm gonna go insane. I'm actually gonna go insane. At this point, I'll download it from anywhere. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, viruses. That's fine. Come on. Come on now. Why? 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 I want to open a connection to this. Why not? I hope you like that montage. It took me four hours. So, instead of 98, we'll be using the beautiful Windows XP. While it's being set up, let's think about what we'll use to code. Obviously, we can't use VS Code, Visual Studio, or any modern IDE. I have a few ideas, but I guess you'll have to wait and see. So, let's set up our operating system. Oh? Okay. I mean, yeah, it's... Yep, it's certainly Windows XP. Definitely. 39 minutes? Please don't actually take 39 minutes. Please. I beg you. Please. What was that? It didn't even open yet. I was watching a reel. What the hell? I don't even know what to say, okay? I don't even know what to say. I honestly don't know. Okay, is this working? Are we done? Go away. Go away. Go away. I think that error was related to VMware tools. And it's retrying it right now. So, I hope that was the case and I hope it'll work. Now, our first challenge. Actually, screw the challenge. This has... Pinball. I love this game. That was horrible. Okay, let's play some Solitaire, I guess. And just like that, Solitaire is done. Oh, that took 10 minutes. We need to connect to the interwebs. Before connecting to the interwebs, I have to change my keyboard layout. Uh, this one. This one. First of all, location, United Kingdom. This, United Kingdom. Fly. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Oh, Google actually works first time. Okay, that's cool. It didn't work with Windows 98. So can I just do this? Ah, oh, of, of course not. Of course not. It would be too easy. It would be too easy if it worked. I can't believe it. We, we're actually installing the IDE. Yep, I'm installing Dev C++. It's simple enough to use, comes with a compiler, and works on XP. I actually truly cannot believe this. Okay, so let's do a little bit of... Ew, no, no. Project 1. It works. It works. It actually works. Oh my. Okay, let's set up a project and start programming. Uh, Windows application. Flappy Bird. That's right. We're going to be creating Flappy Bird. Oh. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, these are cool, but I think I'm going to write my own. Now, the window procedure looks okay. So, I'm not going to touch that. I'm just going to call it window proc instead. As for the main function, I think I'm just going to rewrite the whole main function, to be honest. Now, while Zyap guy on the background writes the window procedure, let me tell you which graphics API we'll use. Are we going to use SDL? OpenGL? DirectX? SFML? Nope. We will use the Windows API. <laughs> uh. Well, technically it's called Windows GDI, but it comes from the Windows.h import. So close enough. Why do I keep torturing myself with the Windows API? Okay, and we'll return zero. Now, technically this should work. So let's try it. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, let's try it one more time. Ah, yeah, that's... And... Come on. Really? One eternity later. I just realized how stupid I was. The name. The class name. It's not matched. <laughs> of course. Now we can see our, our, our beautiful application. It's, it's so beautiful. We have a beautiful window now. That's nice. That's great. Let's add some definitions. Oh wait, we need we need a bird. What better way to do that than to create our own? Oh, this is so nostalgic. This is actually so nostalgic. Now we need to draw a flappy bird. Uh, shouldn't be that hard, right? That's good enough, right? Oh my, it looks nothing like Flappy Bird, but it'll do, it'll do, it'll do. Isn't this so cool? It looks even worse now. It looks even worse. Okay, we now have a bird. Now, gravity, that should be like 0.5. Okay, let's first implement the bird. Uh, I'm just going to create a class called bird. So it has a Y value. It has a velocity. And let's add a constructor. Yep, that should work. Now, functions. Uh, we need a flap function. Whenever we flap, we set our velocity to the flap strength. We need a update function. Okay, now we have an actual problem. How are we going to draw this stuff? Now, Windows has something called Windows GDI. And it's this horrible graphics library thingy. And I think we can use it for our purposes here. So I guess I'll give it a shot. Okay, we'll do this with some brushes at first. To be honest, this doesn't actually seem that bad. Like, obviously we're not done here, but... So here we have to add another case called WM Paint. So this should just work. I'm just gonna put this in brackets, you know, just in case. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It works now. See? Isn't it majestic? Isn't it so beautiful? Blue. Let's also add a rectangle for the ground. Yep, there is our ground. This is actually going kind of okay. Let's also draw the score. So apparently this is all we need to write text, so... Ah, I knew it couldn't be that simple. 
I have realized I am stupid and I forgot to include stdio.h. It actually works. Okay. Uh, you know, this is all going very smoothly right now. Surprisingly. Now let's draw our bird. So, actually, before drawing the bird, we should actually load our bitmap. So for that, we need a H bitmap. Uh, let's just give it the full file path, just in case. And we'll load the resources. Oh, we'll do this just before going to the message loop. Okay, that's expect. Wait, what? No, that's not expected. <laughs> Why? Okay, I used something like this, and it actually worked. I don't know what the difference is, but it works. Yay! So, uh, first let's create an instance of bird, and let's do bird dot uh, draw hdc. Okay, time to actually implement the function now. So apparently this draws a bitmap. It drew a bitmap. So now we must actually run our update function and somehow do our flap function. By the way, I'm just YOLOing this. So this isn't actually like educational or something. I'm just trying to do stuff. And so far it seems to be working. Most of the stuff I learned while doing process hitman. So if we jump, but the game is not over. Bird.flap. So let's create a function called update game. Okay, if the game is over, we'll not call this function, but we'll do updates. Now we just need to call this uh, here. I think this should work. Oh wait, we forgot to invalidate rect. This is something we have to do and I don't know why. It actually works. This is my first time programming something like this, so this is actually crazy. We made Flappy Bird, well, at least a part of it, using Windows API. This is crazy. Hello there, it's been two days, I'm back. So my voice is a bit crisp, I just woke up. Don't mind the fact that it's 5am, shush. Let's finish up this game, shall we? Okay, we have a bird, and the bird can indeed flap. So, let's add some pipes. So, the pipe will have two constructors. One of them is just a default constructor, and the other one will generate a random top height. This little algorithm will decide what height the pipe will spawn in. So we just add an update function, and with that our update method is done. We move it to the left, and if we get out of the screen, we spawn it again on the right. So we don't need to spawn like a million pipes, we can just use the same two pipes forever. Now when it comes to drawing the pipes, I'm just gonna use brushes instead of bitmaps, because I'm lazy and I don't want to deal with it. Alright, that should be our draw method done. And finally, I'm going to add a check collision function. Okay, we'll add our two pipes here. And now it's time to update and draw them. Okay, that's the logic to update the pipes and check collision. Now, we must render them and that's about it. Finally, we can test the game out. Never mind. Oh, we just forgot to include vector. Okay, let's try this. It actually works. Kinda. Something is definitely wrong. One thing I don't like is the gaps are inconsistent, and I think that's just a simple fix. Yep, that fixed it. Cool. Very, very nice. Now, we have to do something about this transparency problem. The bird has a white background. Now, I thought about how I could do this, and there is some masking techniques, but I'm gonna do something even better. So, to fix this issue, we're gonna do the genius solution of just making the bird's background the same color as the background. Listen, if it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. So, the game is almost done. There are only two things I wanna add, and after that, we'll be done. I want to add a way to restart the game, so that you don't have to reopen the game every time you die. Resetting the bird, resetting the pipes, and resetting the score. 
It'll also add some text that says game over or something like that. And hopefully that should be it. Let's try it out. Oops, that should be a lowercase c. Let's try this out one more time. Yep, we're playing the game fine. And now let's... Whoop. Okay, it says the message. And we can restart just fine. This is so cool. Nice. This is all nice and we're almost done. But there's one final thing I want to add. You know how in Flappy Bird, the original, if you jump, the bird faces up and as you're falling down, it faces back down? I want to add that to this version. Now, I'm pretty sure Windows GDI doesn't have matrix transforms. But who's to stop us trying, right? Alright, let's calculate the angle first. If you took trigonometry at school, you'll know what I'm talking about. I was mistaken. Windows GDI does support transformation matrices. So this is gonna be simple. We have to rewrite our bit blitz code. So this should work technically. I don't know how the Windows API actually handles all this stuff. But I guess we'll find out. It actually works. Wow. Oh, we died. <laughs> But yeah, it actually works. I think it's a bit too harsh, but I can change the values a bit. I think we're fully done with this. Only thing left is to upload it online. Okay, I created a git repository. Let's write a readme and upload this to GitHub. Alright, I wrote a readme. Time to push this to GitHub and finally call it a day. Why is it stuck on pushing to origin? Why? Can I not end this video on like a positive note or something? Please. I just used the command line instead and it worked. Just another reason to use the command line instead, I guess. Our project is now on GitHub. You can check it out in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It took so long to make. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this type of video. And if you'd like to see more like this. I'll see you in the next one. Zyapkai out.